Hello mga ka -X. Today, we're gonna learn a new fantastic concept. In this video, we will be focusing with the universal set and null set. A universal set denoted by U is the set that contains all objects under consideration. For example, let us say that the group of farm animals in the Philippines is a universal set. Then we have U is equal to carabao, cow, pig, duck, turkey, goat, chicken, rooster, geese, and duck. Example, given that U as our universal set, which is the farm animals in the Philippines, and set A, which is the four-legged animals, and set B is a set of two-legged animals. We could say that A is a proper subset of the universal set because all the elements in set A are found in a universal set, and set B is a proper subset of U because all the elements in B is found in our universal set. Another concept that we are going to learn is the complement of a set. The complement of a set A, written as A prime or A raised to the power C, is the set of elements in the universal set U that do not belong in set A. And we use these symbols to denote complements. And this expression is read as A prime or A complement or the complement of A. Illustrating through a diagram, let the rectangle be our universal set and the circle be our set A. Then, the shaded region is the complement of set A. Why? Because these shaded region are the elements in universal set U that doesn't belong to set A. For example, if U, our universal set, is equal to the set P, Q, R, S, and T, and set A be equal to the set Q and S, finding the complement of set A, then we have A prime or A complement is equal to the set P, R, T. Why? Because the elements P, R, and T are the only elements found in U that is not found in A. In diagram, let the rectangle be our universal set. Then we have the elements P, Q, R, S, and T inside the rectangle. And the circle be our set A with the elements inside Q and S. Combining the two sets, then we have this illustration. And finding the complement, we have the shaded region. The shaded region corresponds to the complement of A with elements P, R, and T because again, these are the only elements that are found in our universal set and not found in set A. Another important concept to be learned is null set. A null set or an empty set denoted by these symbols is a set that does not contain any element. Remember, the null set is a subset of every set. For example, 1, the set of whole numbers less than 0. We could write n is equal to null set. Clearly, there is no whole number less than 0. Therefore, it is an empty set. 2. B is equal to the set X 
such that x is a composite number less than 4. Here, b is an empty set because there is no composite number less than 4. Do you find the lesson confusing? Feel free to hit the replay button. Replay! 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 Replay!